everybody, my name is Simon. This story is called Solomon's Tales. Now if you've arrived at this video wondering what it is, it's actually about a man, lots of Thai ladies, that he pays for their company. So it might not be the sort of video you're expecting or want to watch. So please feel free to leave. Solomon, English guy, 35 years old, professional driver, self-employed, from the UK, works in the UK, two marriages over, finds himself single. He's just had, in the previous three or four months, two trips to Thailand, both occasions, two or three weeks long, ended up in Patea, a city full of beautiful women, beautiful, beautiful women, and stories that will make your feet curl. Now, Solomon, he's got hmm, four or five thousand pounds in his bank. He's had these two trips. They were amazing. He's always dreamed of a big holiday. And that's why he's been saving hard. He was thinking of a trip to America, a road trip all the way around America. But after these two trips to Thailand, to Patea, he's now thinking that he knows everything about Thailand. He's done two holidays there. He's clever, he knows everything. Hmm. Maybe he will have a holiday, a hedonistic holiday in Thailand, not in Patea, as a big blowout to get it out of his system. He's beginning to feel hooked on Thailand. So, yep, yeah, Thailand it is. He puts everything in place at home Everything, all the bills are paid for the next few months. He buys an open return plane ticket so he can change the return date. He's got money in the bank, spare, enough to cover a holiday. Maybe it'll be three weeks, four weeks, who knows. He wants a holiday that he, now as a single man, he can go and try things that maybe he's never tried before to enjoy sexual conquests to try well, pretty much anything and he wants to see more of Thailand he books a flight from London Heathrow to Dong Muan Airport in Bangkok now just by that you know this story is quite a few years old so it must be late 90s maybe 2000 the exchange rate is excellent double what it is today in Thailand it's about 75 baht to the pound back then so flight back then I think he paid about 500 pound open return books a ticket Everything's set at home, off he goes. Locks the car up, locks the home up, gets on a plane. He's done this a couple of times now. He knows the routine. It's a night flight. Leaving the UK, 9 in the evening, 9.30. Getting into Thailand, approximately 12 hours later. With the time difference, it brings it to about 3 o'clock in the afternoon, Thailand time. Arrives, Don Juan Airport comes out he's got a big suitcase but it's empty hardly anything in there remember he knows everything he's gonna buy clothes there so didn't take much out he comes of the arrivals area and first tip he's not going to take one of the taxis at the taxi rank where there's a kiosk those taxis charge more because they're paying the airport a bit thinks I know 
I remember people told me I'll go to the arrivals uh, departures zone further along and now in the new Sawanapum airport I believe it's on a different floor going to the departures area where people are coming in taxis and they're heading off to wherever and he approaches a taxi that's just pulled in people have got out ask the driver how much Bangkok Centre he's booked his whole trip he's only booked the first night hotel Nana Hotel Soy 4 Sukhumvit Road Bangkok right opposite the famous Nana Plaza district area entertainment zone taxi driver it's 400 baht downstairs oh, next door downstairs it's going to cost him six seven hundred baht see he knows everything jumps in traffic at that time of day takes about 45 minutes to get down to the hotel gets to the hotel hands over the 400 baht gives the driver 20 baht tip driver grunts at him <laughs> he's a foreigner he expected more tip Solomon's not a cheap Charlie he's just using his knowledge says goodbye to the taxi driver takes his large suitcase checks into the hotel not a brilliant looking hotel quite large downstairs there's even a nightclub in the uh, back of the hotel basic rooms nothing special but it's quite a famous hotel because it's dead opposite the entertainment zone many people know about it he'd never stayed there before but he'd read a lot on the internet about it and many people had told him about it and he knew exactly what he was doing by going to that hotel he's there for fun this is a holiday this is a hedonistic holiday once in a lifetime complete blowout you know, he's, everything that happens here on this holiday, he's going to leave behind. It'll be memories for his life. Checks into the hotel, to the room, yeah, basic room, double bed, shower, no bath. But it's, it's okay. There's a couple of seats in the room with a little coffee table. Window overlooking another part of the hotel, so not much view at all. But again he's not there for the views he's not there for the beaches this time this time he's there just for women and sex to try things out adventurous he's normal build five foot eight five foot nine slim not so athletic but broad shoulders he's not going on holiday with anyone else he can handle all this he knows the score, he knows everything, he thinks he knows all of it. Clever clogs, you know the type. It's about five in the afternoon, so it's time for him to get some food. Out of the hotel. On the map, there was a place 50, 100 metres along the road, further down to Soy 4 on the right. I think it's called the bus stop which is a restaurant behind a high wall and he heads down there in sure enough beer 60 baht bottle of beer Thai Western food it's all there and he has some food lovely girls and waitresses coming over mm, he's thinking can I take one of those girls back to my room will they go with me not sure I think they're just service girls I won't bother now, I'm going to have a wander around. It won't be hard to find a partner for the evening. <laughs> anyway, he enjoys his meal. He's just arrived, a little bit of tired, a bit jet lag. He thinks he's going to have a quieter evening the first night. He's not going to go absolutely crazy. He needs a good sleep. He doesn't even get 10 yards back towards He's going to head to Nana Complex. It's a bit early, but the beer bars at the front are all open. He doesn't even get 10 yards back from the bus stop before girls, freelancers, are all 
talking to him and chatting him up and his face is just a picture it's I've arrived in heaven women everywhere beautiful women younger than myself oh this is going to be a good holiday he carries on walking he pushes on gets to the hotels on his left Nana complex on his right and some traffic lights right in front of him he thinks I'm not going to go into Nana this evening because it's full on loud three four floors of go-go bars beer bars it's really in your face entertainment and he's I remember reading about some beer bars 200 meters away and that are no longer there sadly but I think they're called Soy Zero um, so he comes out of Soy 4, turns left not down towards Cowboy, turns the other way there's another Soy Soy 2 which is just nothing past the I think is the Marriott Hotel a bit further along over the railway lines under the motorway bridge on the left is a load of beer bars sadly they have gone no longer there but he enters into these and thinks I'm going to have a few beers a few games of pool and get myself a lady who can massage me and stretch my muscles for the night <laughs> he enters first bar on the right seems to be the biggest bar there's a little alleyway down maybe five bars on the right four or five on the left but most of them have enclosed because a lot of dust kicked up from the roads away a lot of noise and there's about four or five bars down on each side but this one at the front on the right is open two nice pool tables quite a few girls it's still early in the evening you know he enters oh, of course there's no other customers there at that time the girls are all over him like a rash the feeling he gets just there is the attention of younger ladies, most very pretty, all want to talk to him, give him attention. That's the magic feeling of going as a single guy into Thailand beer bars. Beautiful feeling. And he, he already knows this. He's had it before. He enters girls six seven girls and he says that he wants to play pool he wants a few beers and he challenges the girls who's the best pool player he fancies himself as a pool player one girl steps forward and says that she's the best she's also the ugliest and fat I'm sorry but she was is apparently but he put the challenge the gauntlet played pool he did against this girl and he beat her she wasn't that good she wanted a second rematch yep yeah, he yeah, beat her again buys her a drink buys her a lady drink says thank you now I'm going to play with the other girls and see if they're any good he spends the next two hours just drinking playing pool with all the girls having a great time getting to know the girls it's one there slightly shorter than the rest cute and he's thinking to himself I'm gonna take this girl I'm getting a little bit tired but first I'm just gonna have a wander down just says to them I'm just gonna have a little walk fresh air um, orders another drink and puts it on the side so he wanders just down the 50 meters 60 meters has a quick look at the other bars most of them have got a single pool table in there and some have got aircon notices to the left quite a few girls in the one bar and they all sort of start shouting and waving at him and a couple come out and he's mm, okay another day I'll come back turns around walks back up in the bar has his drink grabs this girl pays the bar fine takes the girl 
off they go. Short time. He's explained to the girl he only wants her for two or three hours. He's tired. Uh, that will be fine for the evening. And he arranges a fee for the girl, for her companionship, for her massaging skills. <laughs> Takes her back to the hotel and has a very enjoyable evening. Great time. That's the first night he's arrived in Thailand. He's now starting to relax, getting ready to plan, move forward on this hedonistic holiday. I'm going to have to leave it there guys, we're 15 minutes in already. I thought this was going to be one, see it, one episode. Oh dear. I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.